part where you're in the car and you were learning Chinese, and I just want to say your accent's actually very right on. Is it really? Woohoo! I speak fluent Chinese, so you you and your husband sound great in the car. <laughs> That's awesome. Staging is about presentation and marketing. Just like you said, like if you go on a date, you're not gonna show up, you know, like Roger. I'm not gonna like put my hair in like a top bun and then just like wear my fuzzy pink slipper and outfit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Dress up and look nice, you know, and like have a decent conversation with a man. Wait, just because I wore a push-up bra doesn't mean I'm deceiving <laughs> my <laughs> husband that like you know I'm really like. I don't know, whatever. I'm at King West right now in Toronto and heading to this little Parisian cafe called Brioche Dore. I might be pronouncing that totally wrong, but either way, they have amazing croissants and I'm about to go and meet with a friend of mine, Christiane, who is also pregnant right now, and so we're having a little baby bump date together. Yay! Hi, Chris! Hi! <laughs> Show me your tummy. <laughs> I'm filming you. Oh, you're filming? <laughs> so I just just had a really great time with my friend Christiane who is expecting her little man, her little baby boy. Um, I think within like a month or so from now. So it was really great to see her. And you know, it just kind of occurred to me like through our conversation, since we're both pregnant, like something that we both realized is just how um, people love to give advice, which is amazing. And I, I don't know if it's particularly just when you're pregnant that people just love to give you advice. Maybe it's, I mean, I could see too that it's like anytime there's like big changes, like you're getting married or you're having a child or you're making a big life change, something along those lines, people love to give you advice. And and I totally get that people are coming from a place of like just really wanting to contribute and tell you what's worked for them. In just hearing both of our stories that we shared with each other, what's kind of come up for me is how as as much as it comes from a really great place because I know people want to contribute and you know if something has worked for them I think it's always great to be able to share that with something somebody else and hopefully it might work for them I think from someone who's from the point of view of the person who's receiving advice I think something that's really important for us is to I mean be grateful for the advice but in terms of like whether or not you're gonna use it come from a place of realizing that it's important not to just take the advice and, and consider it the golden rule, but to still be able to make, make your own opinion around that advice. For example, um, like really look at the results the person has created for themselves, whether it's around parenting or money or business or relationships or whatever. Like actually look at the results that that person has and if the results that they have are if, if those results are what you're looking for to recreate in your own life or something similar to that, then take the advice, you know? I mean, still look at it from the perspective of like making it your own and how it'll work for you, but definitely take the advice. Now, if you consider that maybe the person that is giving you the advice, as wonderful as it has worked for them maybe the results that they've created in their own life is not a match for what you would like in your own life don't take the advice thank them for the advice and you don't have to tell them that their advice is wrong because it worked for them but it doesn't mean that the advice necessarily is gonna work for you and the reason I wanted to share that is because there is no such thing as perfect advice it's just stuff that has worked for the other person and by worked for them it's been able to create for them the kind of life that they want. And the kind of life that they want may not be the kind of life that you want. You know, you wanna honor the person and, and be grateful that they're willing to share the things that have really worked for them. But in your own mind and in the privacy of your own thoughts, you know, just keep in mind like, is are the results that this person has created for their life, is that something that I want for myself? And then you can decide whether or not it's something that's worth considering or trying in your own life. So I hope that makes sense and if you have any ideas as to how you sift through advice and different opinions that people give you, I'd love to hear about it in the comment section below. 
So yeah, I wanted to share that because I think it's important. <laughs> oh my God, I think it's raining. It just all of a sudden got really dark and rainy here. Alrighty, that's my little rant for the day. What up, Nick? I know, he's driving. Nothing much, Lisa, what's going on with you? I don't want to distract him too much because he's driving. Oh, limo, that's a huge limo. You can see that back there. Anyways, uh, we are, today's Saturday. Today is Saturday, I don't know where that accent came from. Um, and uh, I know one of Nick's favorite things to do is to go and have brunch, which has kind of become one of my favorite things to do because of that. So when did it become one of my favorite things to do? I don't know, it's something that you really like to do often, isn't I, it? I like to eat. <laughs> oh, so it's not necessarily brunch, is that what you're saying? It's well, just... you know what, no, I actually, I do like a buffet brunch, I, I do it. Like yeah, it's fun to go for a brunch. I, I, I don't know. I've started to really enjoy it because it's uh, I think with brunch especially you get to kind of take your time and you don't feel like you're in a rush So it's something that you do on a day where you're taking it easy, right? So I don't know if it's more of that that I enjoy or Anyways, I like me some brunch so uh, that's what we're gonna do now and the the only thing that's changed is normally we go to these places that are a little more grease pits, would you say? Like eggs and bacon kind of a place, right? And today, you know, we've been on a little bit of a health kick. Oh, you do go, uh, let's put a shout out to the buttery though. That's a good, that's a good product. Oh yeah, we... New market, all those people up in New Market, the buttery, on Young and Davis. Yeah, that's true. So... There, there's some friends of ours, uh, some family friends of Nick's actually have a, a restaurant that does... Me too, they're your family too. They're my family too right now, yeah, you're, you're right. right. So anyways, a family friend of ours has a restaurant out in Newmarket, so if you're ever in Newmarket, uh, it's called The Buttery and they have a really awesome Sunday brunch. breakfast bunch Sunday on Sundays, Sundays, yeah. So I mean, today's not a Sunday, so we're going to try a different place and because we've been on a health kick for what, like a couple hours now? No, okay, it's about a week, about a week. No, it's about been since nine, because last night... <laughs> oh yeah, last night we went for waffles, so that last night didn't count, but... Uh, so we're gonna do a vegan breakfast brunch and see... But if it no. still satisfies that uh, craving for brunch. Still pea meal bacon, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> you excited? We're gonna have some vegan brunch! I'm more just hungry. I know, me too. I'm excited because I'm hungry. I'm really hungry right now. I'm hangry. <laughs> Good? We are going to see the raptors. They crouch down so you can get me? <laughs> <laughs> CN Tower, beautifully lit up blues and purples. See how pretty it is? Yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> Nick's like, it's pretty, let's hurry up and go. The game's gonna start. Guys, look who we found! We found some friends! 
the Raptors game. <laughs>